Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As you can see, this video is considerably longer than my other spoiler videos and it also contains many theories. All of my sources will be linked in the description, the timestamps are gonna be on screen now and remember this is a spoiler video and if you don't want to see it, click off. But anyway, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, consider subscribing but now let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is more of a theory, but there are many spoilers and other things that support it and it's very interesting, so I wanted to talk about it. And this one is gonna be quite long, so just stick with me and I promise it's gonna make sense and connect nicely in the end. So a few days ago, Star Stable Spoilers on Instagram posted these two pictures of the game files. I was obviously very intrigued but didn't really know what to do with it. In the files we find things such as called her female head, called her male head and a lot of files of Lisa's room containing various items for example desk, lamp, bed sheets and so on. There's also files of Kyomi's room. A little about Kyomi. She's one of the characters of the Star Academy series. In Star Stable, the Summer Rider, she's the Warden of Cod Point. She took over the stables during the summer but doesn't know anything about horses. She has not yet appeared in SSO and one of her best friends is Lisa, as Lisa the Soul Rider, which is very interesting. And for the Cod Point, it's a ranch located on one of Jorvik's northernmost islands. It is run by Kyomi. Next to Cod Point, there's an island called Cod Point Paddock, and Cod Point can only be found in the Summer Riders. Another interesting thing in the files is the mention of Jessica. She's one of the Dark Horse Dark Riders and the antagonist in Starshine Legacy Legend of Pandoria. Unlike Kyomi, she appears in a lot of SSO franchise games. She can be found in Starshine Legacy Legend of Pandoria, Star Stable The Autumn Riders, Star Stable The Summer Riders, Star Stable The Winter Riders and most importantly Star Stable Online. But still, what does all of this even mean and how is it connected to a new area? To be honest, I didn't know what to do with all this, but then I saw a video called What Area is the Next to be Released by Eleanor Nightwalker. So basically, she's trying to figure it out which area that is like gray colored on our map is going to be the next one that we're gonna get. In the video, she concluded that this part of the map makes the most sense. This area is composed of Cape Point and Calder's Village and they're connected in a way where you can separate them. This is all very interesting when you consider the fact that the Calders have recently left Jorvik and as you can see the Dark Core headquarters are located in there which all connects to Annie because she wants to take revenge on them. As you can see it all leads to our current story in the game. Eleanor also listed the potential entrances to this area and let me tell you, there are many. The first one is a tunnel at the north link that we've had forever and the most interesting thing about this is the fact that every other construction site has resulted in a new area. There's another tunnel above Veildale that belongs to Dark Core and this tunnel doesn't seem to go to Dino Valley since there's nothing on the other side of the mountain and one possible entrance is underneath the observatory. The new light ride also contains many paths where it looks like they could lead north. In Dino Valley, there's also Icing Gate, which is also a place where Calters left. So there are eight possible entrances. This whole area is also supposedly called Mystic Valley. So Cape Point and Calders Village are in it 
And you know where else this secret Mystic Valley is also mentioned? On our maps. Well, at least it used to be there. Right now, the only thing that could be connected to Mystic Valley is an area named Secret Location. You can hear the noise from the tunnel they're building through the mountains. Maybe they're behind it. But a while back, we had even more of these kinds of areas. I found this on Amino and it was posted in 2018 by Holly Snowclaw. And here are some of the areas from Mystic Valley. Secret Location Mystic Valley Hint Secret Location Mystic Warehouse Hint Winterwell Stables Was once the Winterwell family stable but nowadays is operated by a new owner. I'm including this one because an area called Winterwell is right next to the Cape Point so it might be connected but it might also be too far from our current map so I'm not sure. Even though some other closed areas can also be found here on our map, I think we should still take this into consideration. Another interesting fact is that the Mystic Valley has been updated twice in 2019. This is how the area looked like in the beginning. This is what area looked like for a while after one update. And this is how the area looks right now. It's empty and filled with endless amounts of invisible walls. So right now we only have access to a small area if you go there. But how could we even get such a big area? I mean, in the past we've gotten some big areas, but none can compare to this. Except if they've been working on it all along. Isn't it kind of strange that we didn't get any new area after 2017? In 2012, we got Golden Hills. In 2013, Harvest Counties. In 2014, Dino Valley. 2015, Epona. 2016 South Hoop and the last area that we got in was in 2017 and it is Miss Fall. Anytime the community asked about a new area, SSO always kind of brushed it off saying that we aren't getting new area anytime soon because they want to focus on the already existing areas. And that is obviously true, but I think that there's more to it. With some of the updates being so small and so much evidence, I think it is very possible. We already know that we aren't getting new area in 2020, so maybe 2021? I don't know. Also, the code point that I mentioned before can't be found on SSO or any other games, but it sounds very similar to Cape Point, so I don't know if there's any kind of connection. They might change the name. It might not exist on SSO after all.
Anyway, if I had to guess, they started working in 2018. Remember, this is just a theory. Since all of us are so interested in them, I'll tell you some more information about the new American Quarter horses. The horses will cost 950 star coins each. On 22nd of April, four of the new American Quarter horses will arrive to Jorvik and one will arrive on the app on the 30th and that one will be the Blue Roan. And then the final four will be released a few weeks after. Here are also all the codes, gates and animations. And if you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of all the new gates and animations, you can check out the video that I posted a few days ago and I'm gonna put it in the upper right corner now. I know right now with all this drama a lot of people want to hide all players button and Star Stable actually responded to it and here's what they had to say. So someone said thank you I also hope for the ignore all players option and Star Stable responded with maybe someday but it's not a capability that we have right now with our current deck. We do hope that it's something we can develop in the future though. I know a lot of people want it right now but I guess if they can't do it they can't and I think we should respect that. I think we were all very excited about donkeys on the Starshine Ranch. They are so cute. There's also the hashtag SSO Donkeys Wanted and Gaming by Esme, who actually kind of works with SSO, posted this picture on her Instagram and this is what she wrote in her description. There's some donkey business going on here and Mama Swine, the giant Clydesdale, ain't having none of it, but Esme loves all the long-eared fluffs. I saw there was a tag going on about wanting donkeys and I couldn't help myself, just had to make a picture to contribute. I love the donkeys to death and beyond and I just want to own them in some way. A lot of people are speculating if this is some kind of like clue or hint. Maybe next week we would have some kind of quest with donkeys because even if you just look at them, there's many more codes than what we got. And I don't know if we get donkeys, oh my gosh. There are some horses that were already announced but haven't been added to the actual game yet, well, to the app. One of them is the White Tinker and what SSO says if someone asks about this horse is we don't have a date set just yet, the next horse coming to the app will be the Blue Roan Quarter Horse. There's also the Black Curly Horse that has yet to be released and I don't know what to say about this, it's kind of weird that we've had like tinkers and curlies for like months and there are people who are still waiting for those coats to be released because you know those are the ones that they want and I mean they have the model and the coat already so I don't really see why they can't just release the horse but I don't know, maybe it's different for the app. I I don't know, but it's still kind of weird, I guess. Also, I forgot to say it, but there's a new code. I mean, it's not really new. The code was available like a few weeks ago or something like that. It's for that Starshine plushie and it's called Starshine Plush. 
but remember if you have already redeemed the code you're not going to be able to do it again I know this is kind of late news right now, but if anyone is still hoping for the Easter event on SSO, this is what they had to say about it. Will there be an Easter update this week? will said there won't be an Easter event this year. We had a lot of other content that we wanted to focus on and even just bringing back older content takes away from our ability to work on that. Since Easter is a smaller in-game event, we decided to skip it this year in favor of other updates that we were requested by our community. Easter was like almost the same every year, but it was still something to do. However, I don't really mind it. And we finally got missions. I mean, not me because I couldn't log on a few days and I'm very sad because I wanted to do them but I have to wait like four more days but you know it's okay so some people have done the math and they have figured out how long it's gonna take us to get the run runner horse if you don't fail any missions and do like all the training and everything every day you'll get a thousand and two hundred reputation and this means that it's gonna take about three months to get the rune runner horse and if you really don't miss anything you should get the rune runner horse by july 11th which is not actually that bad Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video, bye!